Please help out the channel. Hit that subscription button. I'm coming out with tons of videos and you don't want to miss them. Nirvana, heart shaped box. And special note here, if you're trying to play along with the recorded version, they're in a drop D flat tuning. So you just do your standard drop D, you know, take the E down a whole step there and then take every string another half step further. So that's if you want to match, you know, the exact key of the recording. Um, otherwise you could probably just do a drop D tuning and everything would be cool up to you. So a special note with that and we'll kick it off with this intro verse section, some fun arpeggios here. Uh, we'll start in, you know, what would usually be the a, this is a flat now, but just through the, uh, five chord there, like open a two on the D two on the G just pick right down through it and then back up to the two on the D. <laughs> And that's kind of like the picking style we'll be using a lot here. Switch to this new spot uh, to an E, and in this tuning, you know, we'll be at the third fret, uh, just barring that on the low, low D, A, D. You know, it's all D flat though. So just third fret, picking right through it. And then just come off to the open, which will be a D flat and kind of just picking through that little bit of different timing here, carry it a little further, hit the open low D flat, kind of hesitate a moment. And then we pick the open a open middle D and then we go through it as normal, like the a D a, and it gets a little bit arbitrary here. You know, nothing like super locked down concrete has to be just like that. You know, it's Nirvana song. So stuff stays pretty loose for the most part. And we would do basically the first measure again, the A flat to E. And then we add this cool ending here and it's kind of picking through a seven chord. And in this case, it'll be like a D flat seven. And we just hit the open low D, D flat there. And then we slide up to four on this middle D. Hit a couple times, hit an open A, come back to the four on the middle D. Do a couple threes there on the A to the open middle D. So like slowly. All right, and that gets, that gets a little bit arbitrary too. You know, you don't have to have that exactly that way. It even changes a little bit once we get heavy with this. So just go through it clean like that through the intro, through the uh, most of the verse should be all set. Okay, the only other dynamic that happens with the verse is once we're going through it the final time, we get to that final, you know, D flat seven riff at the end. But uh, with this, we kick on the distortion. We just hit a big open, you know, low D, D flat power chord. And we get really uh, emphasizing on this section to just do uh, four of those four in the middle D's and then three of the th third frets on the A. We just get real like blatant with that part. All right, with the chorus section, we just do this back and forth between a couple of chords, the same chords from the, the verse, but the dynamic changes, we just hit them twice and then we do this bend at the four on the G with the open B under it. So, you know, we do our A initially. Bend that four G with the B. Okay, just get nice dissonant bend there. All right. Switch to our threes for the E. Couple there, same bend at the four on the G with the B. All right, now we just come off to the open low D flat there. And we kind of start like we're doing our, our typical ending, the four fours on the middle D, but we hit one three on the A, and then we do that bend at the four. Okay, so we're just kind of tacking on that bend right at the end there. All right, we get this bridge section, or basically like the chorus end, you know, the outro, and it's just jamming on a, an E power chord. We just strum this out right on beat, you know, eight times. Come off to the open low D flat. Give that 
four on the G, a bend with the B. Come back to the threes for the E. And then off to the open low D flat, and we do our fours on the middle D to threes on the A. Okay, now we get our nice funky Nirvana solo here. Um, real nasty sounding. We come off to seven on the middle D, hit that a couple times, and then we bend eight and release on the B. Okay, shift it down, couple fives on the middle D, bend the six on the B, release it. Okay, down to threes on the middle D, and then we'll do a bend on five of the B, release it, and then we hit five to three, and then go five to four on the G. Go through that whole thing twice, and then we just finish on two of the G. Thanks for checking out the video, everybody. Like it, share it, leave a comment. It's always good to hear from you. Um, do me a favor and hit the subscription button. I put out a video pretty frequent, so you don't want to miss out on that. Uh, check out the links in the description box below. I have really cool links for uh, tabletry books, all the gear I use, t-shirts, fun stuff like that. So thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.